What's up, everybody? Welcome to Parks' Rant, episode number 41. Today is Monday, June 5th, 2017. It's the first episode of the month. I've fucking, I've been gone for, actually, I've been gone. I've been home. I've just been super fucking busy. You guys haven't seen me since uh, I put out either episode 40 or if you guys checked out my new series, my Serial Sunday series, where I'm actually going to be trying to review and take down a whole box of cereal on any or every Sunday throughout the summer at least um, with the exception of yesterday and like the next two weeks because I got shit planned but probably end of June through the summer I'm gonna be doing my cereal Sunday things let me guys uh, let me know what you guys think about doing that um, because it's something I'm going to look forward to because I like fucking cereal. I'm going to keep it going. And, uh, yeah, so I'll get to stuff my face, read the news and all that good stuff. So be sure to check it out. Give me any, uh, suggestions on what you guys want me to review or any of your thoughts on the videos and all that crap. Obviously the video quality is not that great because I can't get my whole fat fucking face in the goddamn picture along with the bowl of cereal because I don't have a wide angle lens. But, you know, whatever, we'll get to it. All right, first things first, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. You saw this video and you're like, dude, what the fuck happened to that shirt? I know, right? Dude, this thing is bright as shit and it fucking fits me good. Look at this. It's all nice and tight. It's one of those form-fitting ones. It makes me look buff even though I'm kind of not. But, you know, whatever. I finally got down to the right weight uh, to where I can wear a shirt like this and, you know, be comfortable in it. You know, I've been, you guys know I've been busting ass. Uh, trying to get down to a certain weight uh, or a certain body fat percentage. I'm not there yet. If you guys uh, recall or if you watched my Serial Sunday series, the only reason I did that episode on the day that I did it was because I uh, told myself if I met a certain goal by last Sunday, I was going to have a cheat day. And boy, did I. Uh, I went from 182 pounds Last Sunday morning to yesterday morning, I was at 184 pounds. I went up two pounds overall after a week. I was still up, uh, you know, two pounds, even though, you know, I was burning it off all week. Um, which I think is pretty good. Uh, the body fat uh, percentage went up as well. So weight and uh, body fat did go up because my cheat day, I kind of fucking went overboard a little bit more than I, I anticipated uh, because, well, long story short, and we, it ended up overflowing into Memorial Day because, uh, you know, my girlfriend wanted to have like a barbecue and everything. We ended up doing that. So it ended up being a two-day cheat day deal. And um, you guys know, typically I take down about 2,000 calories a day, maybe 2,300 pushing it um, on a, like a, a heavy day, if you want to call it that, where I'm actually like taking in extra protein or if I had a little bit extra rice or something. So 2,000 to 2,300 calories a day I'm taking down. Um, so over those two days, I took down over 22,000 calories in less than two days. Yeah, that's a lot of fucking food. I, I jumped on the scale Monday night. Um, you know, so I jumped on the scale. Well, first, I jumped on the scale Sunday morning. I was at 182. That was my new low. That was my record low. And then I jumped on the scale Monday night. 197. I took down 15 fucking pounds of food and drink, guys. That's a lot of shit. A lot of shit. You should have seen the amount of shit that I ended up shitting. It was ridiculous. Like a fucking soft serve it was. Just fucking flown out of my ass like, like, a, like a coil of rope. Man, I was gassy too. The reason for it was that the calorie count got so high was because I ate like three and a half pounds of mixed nuts. And if you guys know anything about mixed nuts, they are fucking dense on calories super high on calories so as your standard mixed nuts um they were unsalted but you know it was like uh, cashews peanuts almonds um the brazil nuts and uh, i think hazelnuts were like the five that were in the mix that i had 
but they were unsalted. But, you know, I took down over three and a half pounds of that shit. So that ended up being over 11,000 calories just in itself. That's a lot. That is a lot. And, man, I am fucking, I've been paying for it this last week just, you know, trying to recover from what happened. Yeah, whatever. And since I ate all those fucking nuts, man, I'm telling you, I was gassy as shit. I did not know nuts made me that gassy. But, dude, I actually ended up making this little video. I might post it in the future. It's only a 30-second video. It's just me ripping ass with, like, it's like just nonstop. I, I just had my camera set up like this. I just kept hitting the pause button on the video over, like, a 45-minute period because I was ripping so much ass. I was like, dude, I should document this. And I did. And, you know, it's funny. It makes me laugh super hard, but it is kind of embarrassing. Um, but you never know. I might release it eventually and see uh, see what happens. Um, but in that whole cheat day, um, I uh, or cheat weekend, I ended up uh, taking my... Uh, besi- oh, ah, sorry, guys. Besides doing the cereal Sunday thing, I also ended up taking my mom out for her, uh, her Mother's Day thing even though it was two weeks after mother's day because obviously if you guys recall i didn't want to do it on mother's day because nobody wanted to do that we were going to do it the weekend after but that had to get pushed back because my mom had a uh, surgery for her uh her cancer that she had to get cut out and then um plus i didn't meet my goal for that week anyway so whatever so we did it the week after that and um any if any of you guys are wondering i talked to my mom yesterday or the day before about uh, her test results on what happened with the whole cancer surgery and they obviously had to cut out a big chunk of it out of her leg and then they had to take take her lymph nodes out or lymph nodes or whatever the fuck you want to call them and they scanned those they had a biopsy on that to see if it spread anywhere else in the body and it the results came out fucking negative which is good it doesn't mean it's not there it's just, it's not in that one spot that's closest to where it was. So if it has spread, it has not gone very far, and it's going to be an easy catch. Get it in and out. There's going to probably be no chemo, no radiation. Fucking thumbs up, dude. That's like the best case scenario. So I'm super happy about that. That's awesome. And so, yeah, so she was already up and walking around after like a week after that surgery. Everything turned out pretty good. Um, and so she's happy. You know, I'm happy. She's been in high spirits, you know. You know, just whatever, just fucking surgery in and out, and now we're back on with life. So, that's good news. That's fucking really good news. Um, all right, yeah, so let's cross that shit off. So, yeah, that's been what's been going on lately. I've been super busy. Um, I, and I know you guys are looking at me right, right now like, dude, come on. There's the fucking elephant in the room. What the fuck happened? How come you haven't smoked any weed yet? You know what? You're right. Let's get the green wave out. Crack this bad boy open and take a hit. Ah, man. I've been kind of worried about this because I think that new pre-workout I was telling you guys about, I think it's it's really fucking with my epilepsy. Super bad. Super fucking bad. I've just felt like seizures coming up and then going away. Ah! But they've never actually been hitting. So I'm kind of stressing out on that... I'm going to have to stop taking that stuff, I'm pretty sure, because I think that's what's fucking with me. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I just, I, w- I want to try to just uh, keep plowing through my diet. I'm on, I don't know what fucking day I'm on my diet right now. Next Tuesday, not tomorrow, because today is, like I said, June 5th. On June 15th, 14th, the 13th. June 13th is going to be my last day. So next Tuesday, I think that's the 13th is my last day of my diet. That's going to be day 100. 100 days of walking 5 miles every fucking day. 100 days of freaking hard dieting, except for like the three total days I've had where I've cheated, which ends up being less than one day per month because it's going to stretch out past uh, three months. You know, it's just, it's been a long road. I've seen amazing fucking results. You guys can probably tell. Go back to the beginning of the year, like episode one or two. Look at me there, and then look at me now. I mean, you, you'll notice just like the fucking fat is gone. It's not in my face anymore. And, you know, I've, I've lost a shit ton of weight. I'm almost down 40 pounds in 
uh, just a little over uh, three months. It could have been well over three pounds if I didn't eat that fucking 22,000 calories worth of fucking food. You know, and you know what they say, for every 3,500 calories you burn, you know, that's one pound of fat. So, you can just do the math. That's like, what, fucking seven pounds of fucking fat I ended up putting on? Probably, and I burned it back down to only putting on two. I'm up two after a week. So, whatever. And I got about a week left, so I'm hoping to drop that other four pounds if I can. Just get down to that body fat percentage I really want. Um, and I'll be super stoked. I'll be super stoked. If I can get down two or three pounds by Sunday, I'll be happy. And then I'll just give me two more days to fucking just push that last little bit. That last little bit will be gone. And then I'll be fucking happy. I'll be proud of myself. I'm still not going to be fucking shredded. I'm not going to look like a... <clears throat> Like a model or anything, even though my mom and my brother are like, dude, you should go into modeling. I'm like, I can't go into modeling. I'm not fucking shredded. Like, I kind of have a six pack going, but I got this flab over it still because I have excess skin. It's not a lot, but you know, it, it's not cut. You know, it, you ever see like a mattress without a sheet on it? You know, and it's kind of got like that stitched, like rib design in it or whatever pattern they have in there. That's what a fucking shredded guy looks like. Now imagine that, but with like a loosely fitted sheet on top. It's like you can see the design, the ribs underneath. Or the abs of the mattress, if you will. But it's just not as tight and toned as it could be without the fucking sheet. So I was like, you know, whatever. Now I was sitting there thinking about it. I know my freaking mom was looking at my... Uh, uh, you know, because she hasn't seen me in like three weeks. And, uh, you know, she saw me and she's like looking at my arm. I mean, look at my arm. You can see the veins and shit in my arm. My legs look the same, you know. This is what happens when you do a lot of uh, exercise. You become very vascular, you know. And my mom said things like, oh, you know, like, you should become a model, this and that, because you look good. And then, then she saw my veins. She's like, I don't know. What's with all these veins popping out of your body everywhere? That doesn't look healthy. You might want to see a doctor. I was like, okay, those two comments right there just proves my point that it's like nobody in my fucking family has ever stepped foot in a gym. Nobody in my family has ever put any, like, effort forth towards, like, fitness or health or any of that crap. Because it just does, like, if they think this is bad, this is actually a good sign. That means I'm fucking, like, healthy and I've been working hard. You know? So, yeah, it's just like, whatever. Um... Let's see, also, uh, still going along with the whole fitness thing, um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have known that on Saturday, normally I don't do any exercise on Saturday besides my walking, but I decided to go down to the gym and uh, put in a little bit of extra effort because I have to burn off these extra calories, so I jumped on the spin bike, and I set a new personal record. Within the 60 minutes, uh, the bike read that I did uh, 836 calories in 60 minutes. That's fucking a lot. Now, they, everyone that I've talked to said that that's a complete wrong number that it shows on there. It's usually, like, another 30% higher than that. But I'm not, like, they said that they're definitely, um, it definitely what is shown on the meter is less than what you've actually burned. It's not like the actual other uh, stationary bikes or the treadmill or the elliptical where it overshoots it. And says that you did like 300 calories in an hour when you only did like 150. The, these actual spin class bikes are show less than what you've actually burned. So, but I'm just going to say I did 836 according to the bike with an hour. So that's a new personal record. I'm fucking super proud of that. I'll, because, you know, norm, my standard is between 600 and 650. And then, you know, since I was already at 836, I wanted to see what would happen if I... Uh, kept pushing the bike past a thousand i wanted to push it past a thousand calories and see what would happen and i ended up doing that right around 80 minutes so an hour and 20 minutes i pushed it past a thousand calories burned because i was just on a good one guys i was fucking doing really good 
Uh, so I pushed it past that, and so I watched it. I was like, all right, 998, 999, and fucking zero. It just, it just loops back around and goes to zero, resets itself. I was like, oh, that's cool. At least I'm one of the few people that probably fucking knows what that does. So, you know, I was stoked about that. Oh, and then, um, you know, there was this one little thing that happened uh, over the weekend. Not yesterday, but on Saturday was um, I got my hair bleached. Did you guys notice? I don't know if you guys noticed because I was wearing this bright shirt, you know, and I lost all this weight and shit, and I haven't been on here for a while. So, you know, I, I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Look. Fucking blondie. Everyone says I look like fucking Justin Bieber. I was like, God, man, I don't look like Justin Bieber. One, I don't look like a complete douchebag. I look like a partial douchebag. And two... I don't have the money to be an asshole like him. And three, even though my attitude fucking sucks most of the time, it's not as bad as that little fucking cunt, all right? So he can go fuck himself. I hate that guy. From what I've seen, I never met him. He could be a cool dude. I don't know. I can't pass judgment unless I actually meet the guy. But, you know, from what I've seen on the tabloids and crap, he's a piece of shit. But, yeah. Um, with the hair, I bleached it, obviously. Just the top. Uh... This is going to be for my vacation. Uh, it's not going to stay this way. I am going to dye it. It's just I got to bleach it first. And then uh, this coming weekend, I'm going to put the color in. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. Now, if you guys know me personally, um, you know, you guys know what I'm probably shooting for what my hair design is going to be. If you guys don't know me personally or you don't... Uh, you know, we don't talk. You have fucking no idea what's going on. You have no idea what is going to happen to my hair. And guess what? You're just going to have to fucking find out next time. Maybe I'm not the next episode. Depends on why I put the next one. But next week, within the next week or so, you guys will see what is going to be done to my hair. It's going to be a surprise, motherfucker. There's going to be a surprise. So, yeah, I'll probably catch crap in the comments, but I don't care. I do this shit every year, so go fuck yourself. It's my thing. I like it. It's fun. And then probably after that, I'm probably just going to lop it off and go back to normal. Um, nah, fucking shit. I forgot to grab that thing. Son of a bitch. Um, uh, I was going to talk something else. Uh, since I was at the gym, um, I had an issue happen. Um, my girlfriend had given me, or what happened was she bought a new pair of headphones, which were these, uh, Bose headphones, these earbud ones, which were like really nice. So she bought herself a new pair of those and she ended up giving me, uh, her old headphones, which were the, uh, the Beats audio, the power Beats. It's the ones that wrap around your ear. They're not the full muffs and it's not the tiny buds. It's like, it's like a half it's like a bud, but it's got like the brick on it, and then it wraps around your ear like that. Um, it was a set of those, and I loved them. They fucking sounded great. They were awesome. And then I don't know what happened, but just yesterday, they were just like, I could, I had a hard time turning them on. And when I finally got them turned on, you, could, like, the, you couldn't adjust the volume on it. So I couldn't hear my music anymore unless I was in a quiet room just sitting there. I could like hear... I could hear the music fine, but as soon as I stepped outside and I was going for my walk or if I was at the gym, nothing. I couldn't hear it. Nothing at all. Fucking a car drives by and it just drowned out the sound. So, yeah, I, if you ever plan on getting those Beats audio, uh, Power Beats, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, because, you know, for the price that you're paying for that crap, they don't last. Okay, she didn't have them very long. She just wanted something else, so she got the Bose. And so I had these, you know, I didn't like torture them or anything, but they just crapped out. The fucking buttons just stopped working out of nowhere. So, you know, you can find stuff that's pretty damn close to being just as good for way less of, uh, way less cost. So I, I just wouldn't do it. Fuck beats. You know, I think they're way overrated. If you're going to go something that's... Like, even has a wire on it still, just like some earbuds. Go with the Skull Candies. I've used those for years. You know, they're only like 30 bucks a pair. They come with a flat wire. They have the microphone and the volume control and everything on it. And the sound quality, I think, is just as good for a fraction of the cost. 
That's just my opinion. So yeah, that was kind of shitty that that crap just shit out on me, but whatever. What are you going to do? They were free for me, so I can't really complain. <clears throat> God damn it. What the hell is in my throat? I think I got like a jalapeno seed stuck in my throat. Because I just, uh, I had a jalapeno uh, before, you know, for like it was part of my dinner before I jumped on here. Just talking to you bastards. But yeah. Um, let's see what else. I was going to tell you guys, um, I did get to try another uh, flavor of Zevia. I wanted to go over that real quick. Check it out. I got this one. I think I showed you guys in the last episode, and I was going to give you a review on it. Um, but this is the Lemon Lime Twist Zevia. Now, this one is uh, one of the cleaner ones of the flavors, if you guys recall. The, the Mountain Zevia has a little bit more trash in it, if you will. As far as ingredients go, it's not bad. It's just it's not as clean as it could be. Um, this one, uh, the it, it obviously it's zero on everything. No calories, no sugar, no no carbs, no protein, nothing. No fat, no sodium. Uh, and the ingredients are uh, carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, and stevia leaf extract. Easy. That's it. Was that fucking five? One, two. Three, four. Four ingredients. Four fucking ingredients. And, um, you know, it's a very clean drink. But I am going to say that if, I mean, it's a lemon lime twist. I'm guessing this is supposed to be their version of, uh, Sprite or Sierra Mist. And, um, to be honest with you, it sucks ass. I don't like it at all. It fucking sucks shit. If there's just, it doesn't taste like i mean it, it just tastes like a sweet version of a perrier you know so i i, I probably i wouldn't recommend this if you guys were going to end up trying any zevia flavors and if you like uh sprite or sierra mist you know I, I don't recommend it you can get it i'll drink this i drank the rest of the pack you know it's still something to drink that has some flavor to it so i still enjoyed it but you know i mean if you really want something to replicate soda if you're just trying to find a soda replacement and you're a Sprite fan, yeah, that, that's probably not going to do it for you because, you know, just the way Sprite and Sierra Mist are just so much better. Uh, so I, I would just go with them. But, you know, it's clean. It's clean. If you just want a different flavor and, and want some carbonation, it's clean. I cannot tr trash that at all. So, Yeah. Ah, uh, shit, what else did I want to go over? Um, I think that might be it for this one. This is actually a short episode. Uh, there was some other things I wanted to talk about, but I don't really have enough time to get into it. Uh, I'm pretty fucking tired. I've been busting ass. Obviously, you guys keep hearing me talk about it all the time. But, you know, I'm just going to cut this one short. It's a short episode for you guys. And I know some of you are probably like, Dude, what the fuck? I want my 30 minutes. And the other one's like, thank God I can't stand this asshole for 30 minutes. And some of you are like, dude, this guy looks like a fucking tard with his gay hair. And some of you are like, I didn't even know he had hair because he was always wearing a fucking hat or some shit. Who gives a crap? His hair could have been blue. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm just rambling now. It's fucking late. What time is it? Uh, five till ten. At night on a Monday, I'm sure my neighbors are loving me right now. So, yeah, I'm going to end it there. Um, I have, um, actually, there's one thing I wanted to be tell uh, telling you guys about. I've been taking uh, some 5-HTP supplement uh, so I can get ready for my vacation because I want to be in a good mood when I go. And, man, I tell you what, I am in a great fucking mood. Even though, like, my epilepsy has been toying with me the last week or whatever, and, you know, I've been just exhausted and drained physically and mentally you know that if you guys need something to make you feel better take 5-htp go to sprouts go to fucking i'm sure like whole foods or some shit trader joe's has probably got to go to any place that's got like a supplement store like a gnc go there pick up some 5-htp and take that crap it'll put you in a better mood across the board it's a freaking serotonin uh it raises your serotonin levels in your brain, and it just, you know, I feel fucking great. I feel so good. I've, like, I even had a piece of shit BMW fucking pull a dick move today when I was driving home. I'm just like, hey, 
you know, I jumped on my, my megaphone. I'm like, hey, that's not a lane. And then, like, he kind of, like, looked at me. And I was just like, you know, I didn't, like, fucking curse at him and fly off the handle like I normally would. I was listening to my music. I was just like, yeah, that's not a lane, whatever. And I just kind of went back to my own day. Normally, I'd be like, motherfucker, you piece of shit, you fucking bib, daddy, you dirty bastard thing, you could just fucking cut everybody up. You know, I'd be flying off the handle, and they'd probably piss me off for the next hour and a half. But this time, I was just like, hey, can't do that. Back of the line. And then I, no, I was just in a great mood. I don't know. What do you want me to say? And then I went down and did my spin class today. Fucking whooped ass on that. Did 678 calories. I remember that because it was 678 within the hour. You know, and it fucking felt like it was only like a five-minute class. It just blew by. I felt fucking awesome. So, I mean, yeah. So, i just saying, I've, I've been in a great mood. But I have been kind of thinking about shit. And my brain's just been all over the place uh, lately. And um, I was going to leave you with this at the end of the episode. Um, but, but first, I want to say thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment. Uh, subscribe, whatever else you can possibly do. I don't fucking know. You know, do do the normal shit that everybody tells you to do. Fucking click the button. Look, it's probably right there. I'm guessing. I don't even know what I'm pointing at. Probably the subscribe button's probably right about here. There's probably a like button right here. Unless this thing's fucking mirrored or some shit. And then there's probably like a comment thing. The YouTube button's up there. Like right, right there. Right? Whatever. You know what to do. Subscribe, like, share, please. Whatever. I'd appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to leave you with this one. Um, it's a little bit deeper, but I was just thinking a bit, uh, thinking about it earlier today. Uh, when it comes to life, remember that, you know, it's always going to be better to accept death when you're at your most happiest point, rather than reject death when you're most frightened of it. If you get to accept a point where you know you're going to die, make sure you are in the happiest fucking state you can ever be because you'll accept it. You'll be happy about it. You'll feel accomplished. Don't Whatever, I know it's not just something like, oh, just don't do this. But I'm just saying, like, do what you can to not be in the point to when death does come for you, you do not reject him with fear. Think about that one, guys. So I'm just saying, live every, try to do your best to stay happy and be prepared for when it does come because it's coming for all you fucks. This guy and you bitches. Oh, shit. All right, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.